Darwin University students responded today to the video that has gone viral after a case of incorrect information led Glassboro police to detain a Rowan student and his friend at gunpoint. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan attended the forum held on campus where some say that this feels like a case of racial profiling. Cleve. And the Gloucester County uh, Prosecutor's Office says that they are now investigating this incident at the request of Glassboro Police and also because of pub public outcry. We heard a lot of those concerns today about the incident earlier this week. He just came out of the store with a gun in his hand. I don't know if it's fake. I don't know if it's a joke. This store? Body cam video shows Glassboro Police responding Monday afternoon to a concerned citizen's report of a man brandishing a gun at a shopping center. Officers immediately started following a black Dodge Charger onto the campus of Rowan University, where several bystanders video recorded them, ordered the driver and passenger out and onto the ground. Turns out the people in the car who were cuffed at gunpoint were unarmed students. Where's the apology? Friday morning, Rowan students voiced concerns about the incident at a campus forum. Many are upset Glassboro police drew multiple guns, including a rifle on senior biology student Altif Hassan and his passenger Giovanna Robinson. The whole time I'm thinking, like, what if I trip, what if I sneeze? Mm. I'm dumb scared at this point. Hassan told his peers he's been stopped and had his car searched numerous times by Glassboro police over the last four years and feels he's a victim of racial profiling. Well, do I really have a choice if you check my car or not? Because if you, if I say no, you're going to impound my car. I've been doing the same routine since freshman year. Never got charged with anything. Glassboro police were invited by the Student Government Association to attend the town hall style forum Friday, but declined. We went to the police station for an explanation and were told Chief Franklin Brown wasn't at work. Many students, including Hassan, felt Glassboro police should have come to at least show they care about the campus concerns. Them not showing up today kind of told me that maybe they got something to hide. The Student Government Association was actually writing down a lot of the suggestions from students today. Says they plan to present them to officials with the university and also with Glassboro, uh, the municipality. Reporting live in Glassboro, I'm Clee Bryan, CBS3 Eyewitness News.